Alright, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? Y'all know the grind don't stop, it's 3 in the morning, but I got bills to pay. So I'm, I'm here for you guys, delivering y'all an exclusive. Pusha T was in Toronto in the 6th, the hometown of Drizzy Drake, we all know that. And according to multiple sources that were there, some people that have hit me up that was actually at the concert, because I did reach out, and some people hit me back to tell me what was going on. Some men tried to play Pusha T and do a little sneak attack on Pusha T at the drink show, all right? We obviously know the Pusha T Drake beef is very public. From what I was told, Pusha T was midway through the performance and some guys started throwing beer at Pusha T, all right? At that present time, Pusha T, when he realized beer was being thrown at him, he did head to the back. Some of his men and security on stage they got into it with a couple of the guys. One guy actually bum rushed the stage. He actually got over and was, as you saw in the video, he was actually on stage. And he took a pretty, I ain't gonna say it was a, a, a real ass whooping, but he took some licks. It, it, he looked like he, for a dude to be able to get back up and hop back off the stage and then be escorted out, I ain't gonna say push a team, put hands on him. To me, I feel like they ain't making an example out of dude, but they at least got the better end of the stick. But maybe these fans look like they got to feel like they got the better end of the stick. They probably got escorted out. They might have got arrested. Maybe not. And they proved their point. They interrupted Pusha T's show. Now, if you heard Pusha T in the video, he did blame Drake for this. Now, I think that's a bit of a stretch, but they do say I am a Drake stan. All right. They, he's claiming that he believes that this was a calculated plan by Drizzy Drake to... Uh, get these guys to throw beer at him and interrupt his show. Um, I do know this. Drake right now is in Atlanta, Georgia. Last night, Drake was at the strip club with um, Future, celebrating his birthday in Magic City. And Drake is not due back in Toronto. From what I was told, I reached out to a source that would know there for another couple days. Um, he is. He just ended his tour. I actually was at the tour stop in Atlanta, Georgia, the other night, Sunday night. I posted a video about that, and um, I, again, I watched one of the best performances I've ever seen in my life. And from there, the energy looked good. It wasn't like Drizzy Drake threw a shot at Pusha T at any point during the show. So I, you know, I, I didn't think this would be a be a thing for for me to believe that Drake would reignite this beef by getting some fans in toronto to throw beer at him i think that's too obvious like it's not like drake would have needed to have toronto fans throw beer at push t if he wanted to make an impact you didn't have to say anything if you really wanted to like just disrespect push t they could have did that at any show now there will be, be people who say nah this was done intentionally by drake because it was in toronto he wanted to make that statement to push a t that you're not allowed here I just think that's a bit of a stretch. Fans believe they're part of the game. As a matter of fact, I was watching the Golden State Warriors play the Dallas Mavericks the other day, and on the front row, they were calling Kevin Durant cupcake. That's what Russell Westbrook, that's the term that Russell Westbrook coined for Kevin Durant after he left the OKC Thunder. It's like fans feel like they're involved, and obviously these fans are Drake fans. They felt like Pusha T disrespected their guy, and they threw beer on him. You, you don't got to get accepted by other fans. And this dude was in a public beef with Drizzy Drake. Now, am I advocating for fans to be that a part of the show? No, I think it's disrespectful. I'm happy they got their ass thrown out. I wish Pusha T and his folks would have put a bigger ass whooping on these dudes so they never do no shit like that again or so someone else won't try to bum rush Pusha T's set. Hopefully he wakes up with a mean sugar cookie in the morning so he feel like he ain't gonna do, you know, so he knows not to do that again, who knows? I, Pusha T did go back on stage and finish the performance. That That is the end-all, be-all. He did give the fans the show. He did leave the stage as soon as punches got uh, started and as soon as his team got into it. 
like a boss, hopped back on stage once it was over and finished his performance for the people. It was a sellout show, by the way. It was a lot of people there. It just seems like there was a few fans who came there intentionally trying to sabotage this man's performance for to show their love for their guy, Drizzy Drake, a Toronto native. To say that Drake had anything to do with this, there are there's no, nothing that I can confirm that that's even remotely true. I, obviously, you can't rule anything out, but I find that hard to believe. Like, there are so many layers between Drake and these fans who just might have woke up on the wrong side of the bed or maybe been having that on their mind for months. When Pusha T comes in town, we're going to sabotage the performance. To say that Drake did that, the biggest rapper in the world, I think that's a bit of a stretch. That's just my opinion. Uh, everybody's okay, though. Nobody was severely hurt. That could have been bad. If, if somebody on Pusha T's side started opening fire, it could have been bad. Somebody innocent could have got shot. So I want to salute Pusha's team for, you know, handling it with their fists instead of the weapons. Because when artists do come into your venue, ladies and gentlemen, they don't get checked at the back door. I've been there a lot of times. I've seen any artist you can name come through the back door. Nobody on their team get checked. They come in with theirs, all right? So the fact that these guys had the restraint to not pull their pistols out or whatever they had on them, I think uh, it's a good sign because we don't want to see anybody get severely hurt. And this was just a little sign that, that some fans threw at Pusha T. And it looks like he responded accordingly, him and his team. I give you guys more information. I'm sure Pusha T is going to make some sort of a statement tomorrow. We'll see, though. It might be a good time, though, for these two to end that beef, though. Like, if, if y'all want to just really make a statement and let fans know ain't no bad blood there, end the beef because Drake's got a whole country uh, on his back and they hold him down and you know the difference between drake and pushes the way drake stays set up pretty much all you can throw on his stage is bra and panties you ain't really you really can't get off nothing you know just his stage is too far away from the fans i was just there the other night pushes no disrespect but he's still in clubs so people can get the push a team it, it might be a good idea for drake and push to end their back and forth um, so nobody gets hurt in this. We don't want to see that. And if somebody's going to get hurt, let it be between the, the teams. Let them handle it. We won't need fans thinking that it's their time for their moment or their moment of fame or whatever. That's 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 not that's not cool to me. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.